Welcome back to video seven in this 10 part series on solving word problems using models and manipulatives. Today we're taking a look at word problems that use rate. So this one says the snail crawls three centimeters in 30 seconds. How far will it crawl in three minutes? First of all, let's consider making manipulatives available to our students and asking them to use them to make sense of the problem. So here you'll see what I'm going to do is use one base 10 block to represent a centimeter. I'm going to put them in groups of three centimeters and I know that each one of those groups represents 30 seconds. This makes it really visual to me that the snail would crawl 18 centimeters in three minutes. Let's take a look at what this might look like as a bar model. I'm going to label my model distance crawled and I know that each part of my model it represents 30 seconds and also three centimeters. So I know that two of those parts is going to equal one minute. Now it becomes clear that the snail can go six centimeters in one minute. All right, there you see my finished bar model. Now I know that I can easily just multiply six groups of three to make 18. So the snail will crawl 18 centimeters in three minutes. All right, let's take a look at a second word problem. This one again involves rate, but we are coming at it a little bit differently this time, as you will see. So we, this time we are making four batches of cookies. We need two cups of flour in all. We want to figure out how much flour we need for one batch of cookies. Now we could go directly to abstract learning with digits and symbols, but we know we are creating gaps in our students' understanding when we do that. So instead, let's give them the opportunity to use manipulatives to make sense of the word problem. Here you'll see I'm drawing a bar model. I'm using each section of the model to represent one batch of cookies. So it becomes really clear to me and very simple to understand that I need to divide that two cups of flour into four equal parts so that each batch needs half a cup of flour. Again, we are going to use the abstract representation, but we're going to connect that to the concrete and representational to help our students build their understanding.